With regards to extracurriculars, uh, jobs, or any exposure that you had in undergrad, what were the things that really helped shape you into a strong candidate for the PA program? So I know that when we think about the PA program, I know that U of T has a set number of clinical hours. And a lot of pre-PAs are really stressing about, okay, I have to get as much hands-on clinical experience as I can. But to be quite frank, some of my most valuable experiences actually came from non-clinical extracurricular activities. The one that really comes to the top of my mind is, so I was a part of Welcome Week, which is first year orientation at McMaster. So I started out in second year as just a general rep. Then in my third year, I was an executive member. And then in my fourth year, I actually got to plan Welcome Week for the entire Faculty of Science at McMaster. And I would say that that experience, just going from general all the way to planner, has definitely shaped me into being the candidate that I was when I was applying to PA school. And that's actually one of the main things that I spoke about because it really shaped me not only in a professional sense because we had to interact a lot with different faculties, different personnel on campus, as well as exterior personnel when we were planning our events because we were planning an event for over 2,000 science students. So it was a, it was a very large scale event. But as well, it taught me a lot of very important interpersonal skills because I was working alongside with two co-planners we always had to make sure that we were communicating effectively. We always had to make sure that we were on the same page. And as well, when you're collaborating with this many people, you're going to come into situations where you might not always agree. And I thought that, honestly, I used to be a very, very shy person and I like to avoid conflict, but that role really forced me to step out of my comfort zone and really learn how to effectively and handle conflict, you know, in a very professional and respectful manner. So I think that role was really great. And then another extracurricular activity that I want to touch upon, it was something that I did purely out of just interest. One thing that I really want to stress is every extracurricular activity that I picked, it wasn't to check a box or to say, oh, this is going to look good on a resume. Everything that I did and the reason why I was able to take on these extracurriculars is because I was fueled by just the passion I had for them. You know, I have such a burning passion for Welcome Week. I could have an entire Q&A about that. And it's just, that was just something that was so integral to me because it not only taught me these important skills, but it also developed a whole network of connections with people that are now my best friends, people who I speak to now, you know, people that I've met, one of my classmates, we actually did Welcome Week together. And it's interesting how we connected again in PA school. And that's, that's the thing about extracurricular activities. Nothing that I picked was to be impressive. You know, nothing I picked was really just because I thought it would look good. It was because they were things that genuinely interested me. Another thing that I did, although it falls in the clinical experience aspect of things, but I'll I always knew that I was kind of interested in the medical field. So that's kind of why I gravitated towards extracurriculars that had clinical exposure. But something else that I did was also, um, I volunteered with a program at McMaster, it's called Mac Wheelers. And it's at, um, the place is called PACE. So it's the Physical Activity Center for Excellence. And essentially it is a place where people with different abilities come in so the Mac Wheelers program, I worked with people with spinal cord injuries and multiple sclerosis, and we would help them with their various, you know, exercise routines, help to modify certain exercises. And as well, we also would just have great chats during our workouts. So I really liked that aspect, even though it did have a bit of a clinical exposure to it, because we did have to learn, you know, various things about our patients, learning about the nuances of their condition. That was just something that I was so passionate about. And I was, it was just very near and dear to my heart, that experience. And so just in terms of like extracurriculars, I really just tried to pick things that one, I could manage and that I knew that, you know, can I like, do I have the time to really dedicate my full self to this extracurricular activity? And then two, is this something that I really love and really want to pursue? Because that's what's going to make you talk so highly about it. When you get to talk about the skills you extrapolated, it's how well you, you know, how well were you a part of that activity? How much do you really resonate with it? And then it really shows when you talk about it, which is great.
I definitely agree. One thing that I'll stress before I even go into my own extracurriculars is that I'm someone that believes that any extracurricular that you do will shape you into a strong candidate for PA school or really for anything that you're applying to. I don't believe in the box checking that I, you know, was sucked into back in undergrad. Um, I have a, like a love hate relationship with extracurriculars or I had because I believed that I was checking a box. I believed that I was just doing them to do them. And I honestly didn't love them at the time. So I started off undergrad just kind of volunteering um, at hospitals and at public health clinics because I thought I had to. I wasn't doing the units that I was interested in or the areas that I was interested in because I just thought, okay, I need hours. Like, you know, let's get it done once a night or whatever um, throughout undergrad and, um, it wasn't for me is all I'll say. So I had to kind of switch my mindset and start thinking about things that, you know, like Tony was saying, things that I love, things that I truly could dedicate my time to um, and things that I could learn from. Like they're all gonna change and shape you, um, like I said, into a strong candidate and you're gonna learn something from every experience that you do. You just have to reflect and look back on your experiences. So a lot of the things that I thought I couldn't talk about in like a PA, um, like application, I was able to talk about and I was able to draw such amazing experiences from and it took me till that reflection to realize like how valuable my experiences were. So the one that comes to mind is camp. I worked as a camp counselor ever since I was like 16 years old. I did it every summer um, and I, you know, worked my way up um, and I ended up on like our senior staff team and I ended up planning camp rather than like being a camp counselor at the end. Um, still working with the kids though. I can't just do the office thing. I love the kiddos. Um, so that was an experience that I really didn't think, because I did it for so many years, I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, okay, this is just my summer job. I didn't think that I could draw experiences from it that I could talk about um, again on a PA application, but I was really able to. Like Tony said, they those experiences, they kind of push you out of your comfort zone and make you um, you know, change as a person and, you know, challenge you to take on roles that you don't think you can handle. So when I was part of the senior staff team, you know, I was not only in charge of like a group of 10 campers, like anymore, like as a camp counselor would be, I was in charge of like a camp of 120 kids and their safety um, throughout the day. So that was and, you know, planning the activities that they were doing. So it was definitely a larger role, something that I wasn't really used to, but something that I fell in love with. And like Tony said, you know, you're forced to kind of engage in conflict and conflict resolution and learning to take feedback from others and give feedback to those around you and those that you're working with and learning to collaborate is something that like you kind of take for granted like I didn't realize how much I learned from being in a camp environment and working with so many amazing individuals um, and you know speaking to parents speaking to children and my coworkers, I was able to grow my communication skills I was able to learn how to collaborate as a team and learn how to collaborate as a camp and grow as a family. I was able to, again, learn to take feedback and learn to take constructive criticism from other individuals and grow from that. And so then when I reflected and when I looked at all my experiences at camp, I was like, wow, this is great. Like I learned so much. I can talk about this on the interview. I can talk about this on the application if it needs be, or if I need examples, because it doesn't have to be about clinical experience. No not saying that that's bad because I also have clinical experience, you know, like I have worked at the hospital and I have also worked at camp and you can look at both and you can learn different things from both and talk about them both. And again, they make you a strong candidate. They make you a strong applicant just because, you know, it's what you take away from the experience. Um, so that's what I always tell PPAs is go back, look at what you really did. Look at all the, in, like, the instances that made you uncomfortable or that made you think differently or that made you grow, write them out, journal them out, and then think about how you can use them to answer questions. And so for me, that's what made me kind of confident on my applications because I knew exactly what I would say and I knew the things that I would draw on the examples that I had in the back of my head. So for me, you know, I had to switch my mindset. So bottom line is do what you love, reflect on it, think about why it would make you a better candidate. 